Back. Uh, a lot of fresh faces, um, yeah. like kind of new blood here, um, guys that are wanting to, to help us get over the hump, which is, uh, which is great. And the guys that are coming back have uh, been waiting for this for months, so uh, it starts now. Three straight on the road. Is that a lot of teams will say it's good to be just amongst each other, team bonding. Mm -hmm. What do you think about three straight on the road to get started? We're definitely not uh, not going to be uh, easing our way into this year. This is a uh, very tough road trip to start. Uh, so try to get uh, so try to get you know some points in each of the each of the three games for our team and and uh, yeah if we can walk out of there uh, um, out of 500 I'm sure we'll be very happy with it. Do you feel like now year two under Paul, under Paul you guys know the systems you guys know what the expectations are. Do you feel like you guys are maybe more prepared this year being in the same system going into year two? Yeah, but there's still a lot of new guys, so there's still some some changes. I mean we have three key really key pieces out of our lineup, so. Uh, it's definitely not going to be a, an easy start um, for us, but I think we all believe in each other. We believe in what we've built here, and, and we just want to keep that rolling. Do you feel like a short offseason? Very short, yeah, very, very short. So uh, it, almost fe uh, it almost feels like, like a part two of last year, um, not a full new slate. So uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll take that as a good thing. For you, I guess it was especially short here. We had Were you – when did you feel okay? I'm 100%. I feel good. I don't know. Like probably like right before camp. So it's been a little bit, and yeah, it felt felt really good in camp. So I'm happy with that. A couple of the younger guys, on Mackie and Sword. If you got to play with them during training camp, both on the roster. Just thoughts on both of them and what they can. I think they're going to be so big for us. Um, there's nothing better than like young young players coming in and providing like the energy on and off the ice. Like they're fun fun guys to hang out with. Like it's. It's been a lot of laughs um, and a lot of uh, just just great uh, like camaraderie, mojo, whatever, however you want to word it. But um, yeah, they, they're characters, so they're going to bring a lot for our team. You guys said home races, training camp is the hardest you've ever been a part of. What is the biggest benefit in the way that he runs his camp in terms of looking ahead to the season? Probably biggest benefit is we're done with it and we can say <laughs> that we did it. So um, yeah, just getting that over with is nice, but. Uh, at the end of the day, it pays off uh, when uh, when times get tough and adversity hits, and we we've pushed through harder. So, um, yeah, it prepares us for the for the long haul of the year. What do you carry with you from last the run last year? I don't know. Experience um, is a big thing. Knowing what it takes, um, knowing how to win those games um, is important, and it's why why play a different style of hockey now than we will at the end of the year. You know, so. We know the style we have to play. We know individually what it takes, team what it takes, and there's no sense in dipping our toe in right now. We could just continue playing that way but from last year. Is there unfinished business then, considering the run you guys had last year? Yeah, but we're not thinking that. I mean, we obviously are not not happy with, you know, it, it, it can you can't write a worse ending for us, you know, and it's, it's how it goes. One team wins it, one team's going to lose it, but... Uh, we, we have gained a lot of good things from, from the whole year last year, and we got to bring it into this year. Thanks, Matthew. Yep, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.